Hey everybody, welcome to another video over some diamond ore from a so-called diamond mine near the crater of Diamond State Park. And as we all know, none of the diamond mines near the crater of diamonds were successful. The crater of diamonds itself wasn't successful as commercial mining. They have the gem quality diamonds at the crater of diamonds, all the other outcroppings of lamprite consist of industrial grade diamonds nothing gem quality ever was found a lot of the mining companies north of the crater of diamonds had to come and get material from the crater of diamonds just so they could get gem quality diamonds right here is a box from the worthington diamond mine north of the crater of diamonds which is just existed this year i know that if you really want a piece of the property where the mining was actually taking place it cost millions of dollars to purchase that land right off the bat looks like we have a hole <laughs> yeah i got material falling out of this thing which isn't good man that's kind of looks like dirt falling out yeah, it's just dirt, so, okay, not a big loss if we're just losing dirt, right? And just so you know, I had a decoy purchase this and shipped it to me. Here is the original label that was shipped to my decoy from the Worthington Diamond Mine. Lamprite at the Crater of Diamonds is considered black with yellow or white spots. I know we see other types of colors, but that's because that lamprite is mixed with other minerals to make it other colors. But the diamond bearing soil, the host rock, the real deal is a black rock with yellow and white specks. We'll take a look at some lamprite that I was able to gather at the Crater of Diamonds and we'll see the difference from this material and the real lamprite from the crater of diamonds which the lamprite from the crater of diamonds would produce a diamond every four ton to nine tons of material that's a lot of buckets that's something i really don't want to be digging in if that's what it takes to get a diamond we're going to open up this box and see what this consists of and is it worth buying let's take a look at it in the pan in the pan as we know we have a big hole in it right here that's why when I ship packages I like to fully tape the outer the edges of the box the whole box I tape the whole thing up because I don't want this to happen and right now all I'm seeing is I'm just seeing dirt I mean there's no that's not lamp right so let's rip this open I guess since it's already uh, open right here Yeah, it looks like it's just a box of dirt. Here's a big chunk. Okay, that is not lamp right. Okay, it's out of the box. So what I'm seeing right now is basically nothing but dirt in this bag. It cost me $40 to purchase a bag of dirt. Wow. But all my cats are gonna love this stuff. Here's some type of piece of paper. Doesn't even really say a whole lot. It's all faded and it's all wet. It's all wet. Yeah, folks, this is not lamprite. Just because you have that dark right there, because there's some black in here that doesn't make this lamp right this is nothing but dirt here's a little bag looks like some material from the crater of diamonds in this bag yeah this is from the crater of diamonds right here it's got the heavy minerals that we see at the crater you're not going to find that heavy minerals up there like i said the other diamond mines didn't have the same material as the crater diamonds 
That's why those companies had to go to the Crater Diamonds in the early 1990s and take truckloads and truckloads of our diamonds. Yeah, we'll just add this to the flower bed. Got some holes out in the yard we could fill in. Good fill in dirt though, 40 bucks. We can get a little cheaper at Home Depot. All right, let's take a look at some real lamprite. Okay, here's a real piece of lamprite. Oh my God, and it's so heavy. Ugh. Very brittle. Although this one is a solid piece, but this is your lamprite. You see right here, it's got the white specks right in there. It's got black with white specks. Wasn't able to find any with the yellow. I see it a lot though out there. Man, this thing's so heavy. Let's take a look at this right here. You can see a lot of neat stuff in there. Let's get a better look at it through the other camera. You can see all the white specks, a little bit of yellow in there. There's a little bit of yellow right in here. So this does have some yellow specks and white specks. And you can just see how different this looks compared to the so-called lamprite from the Worthington Diamond Mine. I mean, there's just, I hate to say it, but uh, almost like it's a scam because to get the real lamprite, you have to go to the Crater of Diamonds. Here's another good look at it. You can just see inside there. And when you break this up, it just keeps looking like that all the way to the very center. This is a 27 pound rock. I may have said that already. I actually have this one on my eBay store for sale. I have this one left. I just sold the other one. So yeah, if you'd like to purchase your own Lambright specimen, be checking out from my eBay store. That's the Lambright. This is the identification card you can buy at the Crater Diamonds. It tells you which minerals can be found at the Crater Diamonds. Talks a little bit about them, explains their characteristics. And here's Lamprite, volcanic material in which diamonds formed, meaning the matrix, often brittle. It is a rough black rock that may contain yellow or white specks. It explains what Lamprite looks like. True 100% Lamprite. I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention that I'm not just making up the color of what I think Lamprite is. So this is what it is. This is the card. This is what we go by. That's the difference from real Lamprite versus dirt from a local farm. If you want to purchase any of the old diamond mines up north of the crater diamond you're going to be spending millions of dollars to get that property but they're industrial grade there weren't hardly any at all gem quality they may have found a few but not enough to make a diamond mine successful the crater diamonds wasn't even successful there was many many commercial mining attempts and every single one of them was not successful they don't find double digit diamonds or triple digit diamonds that's required to keep a diamond mine in operation. I mean, it's basically dirt. Lamprite comes in big chunks like this. It's just a solid bed. You know, the crater has been digging into it with the plow year after year, and it breaks it up into these big chunks. And when you break this up, I'll show you what that looks like. Now this has more of a yellowish white dots but uh, it's kind of a still looks like some white dots see the dots in there that's what you look for that's how you know if it's lamprite see how it's chunky brittle Ugh, say brittle won't even break there we go let me just we'll keep breaking and breaking and inside nothing but yellow dots white dots that's when you know you got real lamprite. Do a quick comparison of the two. And you can see how it's just not even compare. You can't even compare this stuff, which is dirt, 
that's just dirt. That's all that is to lamprite. Real diamond matrix. This is what diamonds were formed in at the crater of diamonds. But that area got over 4,000 degrees. The pressure was so intense it was able to turn diamonds from octahedron to resorb diamonds like we see today. Most of the diamonds were melted and disintegrated, just like all of the gold, because the temperature was so hot. So you gotta think, all of this was pretty much liquefied and fractured. All the diamonds were released and they got trapped in the gravel. That's why we chase gravel and not lamprite. Let's take a look at some gravel real quick. Okay, this right here is gravel from the Crater of Diamonds. And this is what the diamonds got trapped in, is all this material. If you can find this stuff right here, you will find diamonds. It's just a matter of time. I hope you all learned something in this video. We now see the difference from lamprite from the Crater of Diamonds versus something a local is trying to sell and to me that's just not right all right well i hope you all enjoyed this video once again leave a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this i'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase real diamond ore from the crater of diamonds there'll be a link in the description below all proceeds go to my channel and help support my channel so once again thank you all for watching 